Boom or bust? What's going to happen to the local housing market in the near future? Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Tom Bird with Keller Williams Realty in Peachtree City, Georgia, and today we are going to discuss what is likely to happen to the local housing market in the near future. We will focus on the area which we primarily cover, that being the south and west portions of the Atlanta metro area. Since shortly after the pandemic started, we saw a great boom in housing prices, and it's only human nature to figure that a big boom is going to be followed by a bust. That's especially true if you owned a house in the late 2000s and lived through the housing market crash of the Great Recession. And it also just does not help that there are doomsayers out there on both social media and in the national media. But I'm going to dive right in and answer the boom or bust question. The answer is neither. Thank goodness. If you've tried to buy a house in the last couple of years, you know how competitive it was. And it's really been a debate how much over the list price do we need to go to even have a chance. Well, that has ebbed somewhat the last few weeks as inflation continues to be at a high level, as well as the rising mortgage rates, making housing less affordable and thus diminishing some of the demand. And now to look at the supply side, we like to look at how many months of inventory we have in the market. Month supply is calculated simply by dividing the total number of homes that are on the market by the number of homes that sold in a month. A generally accepted definition of the balanced market is six to seven months of supply. Anything less than six months of inventory is a seller's market. Anything more than seven months of inventory is a buyer's market. As you can see here, the month supply right before the pandemic was over three. The last year or so, it has mostly been under one. For the month of July, inventory has increased to 1.6 and essentially doubling where it was a couple months ago. Yet there is still a very long way to go for our inventory even to get to a balanced market. Simply put, we have a shortage of housing supply that just cannot meet demand. Another factor keeping a crash at bay is the unlikely event that we will see a lot of distressed property sales and foreclosures. Just prior to the Great Recession, just about anybody that had a pulse was able to get a loan, and the government regulations were very lax. People were able to get a subprime loan, which they barely put any money down with, and then when they would default, they had no other choice but for their home to go into foreclosure. Now today, the lending practices are much more strict as well as, on average, people have a lot more equity in their homes. And what we're seeing a lot of today is that when people are struggling to make their house payment, they're simply just able to sell their house at the market value and cash out. Dave Ramsey recently said the best time to buy a house in the next five years is right now. He said that house price appreciation will slow down, might even stay a little flat, but in his opinion, the prices are not going to go down. So with demand waning a little, supply loosening, along with the unlikelihood that our market will see an influx of foreclosures, we certainly agree with Dave Ramsey. So if you're looking to buy or sell, now is a great time. Feel free to contact us here at the Bird Group at Keller Williams, as we would love to help you out or connect you with a great agent in your area if you're in another part of the world. Do you want to know more about real estate? Be sure to watch this next video and don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll know when I drop my next video.